What's up guys, A Heat King here, bringing you some new news regarding Resident Evil 9 and some other tad bits regarding RE. Before I begin, of course, remember to like and subscribe, please. And yeah, let's go into this. So first up, I'm going to be talking about um, some uh, info from another leaker before Dos Gollum revealed something. Then we're going to talk about the uh, leak from Dos Gollum that just came out recently regarding the setting. And then we're going to talk about a whole bunch of new info that's come from a different source. Now, remember, take this all with a grain of salt, okay? This is not confirmed. These are rumors. These are not confirmed leaks. These are rumored leaks. A few weeks ago, Dos Gollum made a, you know, he made a post saying that RE9 was delayed and that it wasn't going to come out in 2025. And a user replied to his post uh, called Omar... Alo Modi on Twitter, or X as we call it now, and he had this to say. They messed up the information I had. It was supposed to be 9, then the remake. Now will the remake really be ready? What I know is 9, which is supposed to be released next January. I honestly don't know. The calculations have changed. I hope the disc information is not correct. Oh, he means this information. I hope this information is not correct. And the summer is our time to reveal the next game as in the original plan. Now, he wrote this in Arabic, obviously, so the translation using Google Translate, it's a bit off. But this guy actually said RE9 was meant to come out in January 2025, basically about two weeks before... About two weeks before Dos Gollum came out with his new post saying, oh, no, the game's coming out in 2025. He also says that the remake was supposed to come after. He doesn't say RE5 remake, he says the remake. So what does that mean? Is he referring to RE5 or is he referring to RE1? And this is important because this is to do with some new information that's come out. But yeah, guys, this is this. And um, yeah, this I'm going to keep my eyes on this guy because if he is legit, he probably has actual legit more info than Dos Gollum has. Because keep in mind, this guy was saying January 25 first before Dos Gollum did. Moving on to the next topic. So, Dos Gollum made a recent post, and uh, keep in mind, this guy was saying he wasn't going to leak anything about RE9. And then literally comes out the next day and reveals the setting of the game. So, the setting of the game, and this is what you had to say. A fictional rural town on an island in the Southeast Asian Sea, inspired by Singapore, specifically. So... The setting is apparently an island, so RE9 is going to take place on an island in the Southeast Asian Sea. And it's going to be inspired by Singapore, apparently. So, um, I'm trying to think how legit this could be, because again, take this with a grain of salt. I don't believe anything he's saying right now. But at the same time, I'm thinking about the previous titles we had, right? RE7 was basically gra grindhouse horror, okay? It, it was inspired by the classic approach of Resident Evil, Resident Evil 1, 2, and 3, you know, the, the original trilogy on PS1, but it had the setting of a grindhouse horror style to it. Resident Evil 8 was inspired by Resident Evil 4, but it had the style of old-school horror movies, you know, what with the werewolves, uh, the concept of vampires, witches, etc., etc. Now, RE9 taking place... In, in an environment that is inspired by Singapore in, in the Asian Sea, makes me think that this is going to go for Asian horror vibes. Um, I'm not really a big Asian horror guy. Like The only thing I can think of is like stuff like The Ring, The Grudge, uh, The Audition. Um, I'm, I'm assuming there's some good monster Asian horror films out there, but I can't really think of any that I've seen. Uh, the only exception properly is uh, Train to Busar, but that's a Korean horror film. The host, again, Korean horror film. Um, maybe, maybe not. Maybe, it, but, but I feel like maybe that's the that's the recipe. Maybe that Capcom's gonna go for with RE9. That's what it's gonna be inspired by, which would be pretty freaking cool actually. Because I've I've heard that there's some really good uh, horror Asian movies out there, like you know, especially in Thailand and that. So maybe, maybe, and, and yeah, it doesn't really give us a lot to go on. The fact that it takes place on an island makes me think that this is gonna be very inspired by something like Tomb Raider 2013. You know, he's saying that it's going to be an open world game. How much of an open world game can you have taking a place on an island? So either it's going to be something similar to twenty to Tomb Raider 2013 or something similar to Far Cry 3 maybe. You know, you're on the island and you get to drive and you've got the open world element maybe. Maybe, I don't know. But 
Uh, it's curious to think about. Yeah, it's curious to think about. Anyway, that's that stuff out of the way. And now we're going to go into the real meat of these leaks, which I've been waiting to talk about. Uh, again, before I continue even more, again, remember to like and subscribe. And let's go right into this. So this was... I'm, try, I'm trying to find where this leak came from. Um, oh boy, see, let me see if I can find it. So this was posted... I, I don't know, this was by another uh, uh, Arabic newser. I don't know if this is his actual name. Uh, P-R-E al or something on X, I think. Um, and I, I translated this in Google. I did the Google Translate. And this is what we got from it. So, we have received some information about the ninth part of a special special source. Again, keep in mind the translation is off. It, it is using Google Translate. And we will share it with you in this tweet. Leon Kennedy will be the main character in the game's introduction. The source does not know why only the game's introduction was mentioned, as the character may change with the passage of events. Okay, so this is interesting then. Uh, again, rumors have been saying that Chris, Leon, Jill and Claire are going to feature in this game. The game's going to be about them four, and it's going to close off their storylines. Now, this leak is saying that Leon is going to be the playable character in the prologue section. So what does that mean? Like, is Leon going to die? I think what's gonna if this is legit let's let's go with the uh, uh, assumption this is legit I think what's gonna happen is is that Leon is going to get captured and then the rest of the game is gonna be about the others trying to find and rescue him and this is somehow gonna connect and tie in with the connections from RE7 and RE8 and that's how we're gonna get those loose ends tied up in the introduction, the region will be Southeast Asia, as Dust Scholar mentioned previously, and also, as is the case with the first information, the region may change with the passage of events. So this guy saying Dust Scholar is legit, and that the uh, the, pr the prologue is going to be set on this island in the Southeast Asian uh, Sea, but that it may change. Now, again, if this is legit, it would mean that we're obviously we're going to be playing as multiple characters and we're going to be going to multiple places. But I think it's more likely that Leon gets captured. And again, with the assumption this is legit, we're going to be exploring this big, massive area properly that is going to be set on this island in the southeast. South is it? Is it? Is it south? The Southeast Asian Sea. So yeah. This information is almost certain because it is from a reliable source that our own source reported to us. But then he mentioned that he heard another piece of news, but he is not sure about it, which is that our Resident Evil 1 remake will be released in 2026. So, this guy is saying this information is legit, and then he goes to say that this information, now keep in mind he's saying this one he's not sure about. He's saying this one is not confirmed, but he has heard that Resident Evil 1 remake is going to be released in 2026. Now, funny enough, I've been saying this myself. I've been saying that they should do a remake of Resident Evil 1 remake. Again, uh, personally, I think they should take Resident Evil 0 and Resident Evil 1 and combine it and make this big, massive RE1 remake game, yeah? That takes the continuity of RE2, 3, and 4 remakes into account. That's what I've been saying. And I've been saying they should release it in 2026. Why? Because it's the 30th anniversary of Capcom, of Resident Evil, sorry. So, it would make sense, wouldn't it? Plus, you need to set up RE5. Uh, remake. It doesn't make sense to me that they would jump straight to RE5 Remake because you have to keep in mind Capcom wants to bring in new audiences, new fans. It wouldn't make any sense to do RE5 Remake next without any of the backstory for Chris and Wesker being set up beforehand. We need an RE1 Remake at best, even if we don't get a cool Veronica one. So yeah, I'm kind of hoping this is legit. I really do because I would not mind seeing another remake of RE1. Plus, you know, again, bigger and better properly. I'm, I'm very, I'm, I really do think they should take RE0 and combine it with that. And maybe change the camera angle, give us an option maybe. I wouldn't mind playing this in first person, that would be pretty cool. Um, and as he continues. But what makes this possible? Director Masachika Kawata previously stated that it appears Capcom is preparing for something for the series' 30th anniversary and concluded his statement by saying details are secret. So apparently uh, one of the directors of Capcom said that there's going to be something special for the 30th anniversary and he's obviously referring to the 30th anniversary of RE and that something secret is happening. Now Dusk Gollum has said it, that RE5 remake is next but it makes no sense for that game to come out in 2026. 
unless they because again I'm going with the four year gap here now obviously we know that RE4 remake was delayed by by a year I believe uh, because you know Capcom Division 1 came and took over the project from the Psy team and then they revamped and remade and that entire game so originally it was going to come out in 2022 but then it came out in 2023 because of the changes in 2021 i believe so yeah so maybe they have been working on this game since 2023 or at the same time perhaps but i i feel like again i feel like we should be getting a different game first before re5 remake sorry about that i really do feel like re5 remake makes more sense to come out in 2027 again the four year gap um, note that the 30th anniversary will be in 2026, and according to what the source heard, the remake of the first part will be released in 2026. So perhaps this, the thing that Capcom is preparing, is the remake, especially as it is related to the anniversary. Okay, so yeah, um, that's what I think. I really do think we might be getting that RE1 remake in 2026. It just makes sense to celebrate Resident Evil by giving us another remake in the RE engine as well. And having that game lead into a potential Call Veronica and RE5 remake going forward. Um, and again, maybe this, maybe, again, you have to consider what uh, Omar said in these other posts. You know, was he referring to RE5 remake or was he literally referring to... RE1 remake because why not just say RE5 remake why does he say why does he say uh, where's the post <laughs> let me find it why does he say um, now will the remake really be ready what I know is RE R9 which is supposed to be released in Gen X January and blah 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 I honestly know it was supposed to be 9 then the remake so he says it was supposed to be 9 then the remake he doesn't say it was supposed to be 9 then the RE5 remake he says then the remake I don't know it's the way that they, they word things but uh I don't know. It's just something to keep, uh, can, you know, keep in mind and consider. But uh, I do. I, I'm just trying to think. Like, does does RE5 remake make sense in 2026, or does RE1 remake make more sense? You know. Uh, in conclusion, no matter how true and reliable the information is, we are not certain about anything we are talking about. Capcom may change its ideas overnight, so what we have to do is be patient and wait. Thank you for reading. So again, the sort of. Uh, working the clawing their ways out of this you know in terms of saying hey this is not legit it might it might be fake so no it might not happen which is a smart thing to do you know as a, as a leaker i've always you know as a leaker i always say if you're gonna leak stuff and you're not sure it's 100 percent say it admit that it's not 100 percent when i do these videos for example i'm reading this stuff but i'm not taking it as 100 percent confirmation i always say take it with a grain of salt because this info could be not legit and these guys are pretty much saying you know keep in mind this might not be legit we're not certain it's like fine cool that's that's great you know if it turns out to be right you were right you know but you know your sources were right if it turns out to be wrong fair enough you warned us beforehand that you're not sure that this is correct versus Dust Gollum who's like this is legit this is real I'm telling the truth and then he backpedals and says oh no my sources were wrong my info you guys misread what I was saying it's like shut up shut up get the hell out of here shut up but yeah, um, Resident Evil 9 next year apparently, and an RE1 remake in 2026. And then I'm assuming if Capcom is serious about it, they will, they will give us a Cold Veronica remake, and then give us basically a trilogy, a Chris versus Wesker trilogy, starting with RE1, Cold Veronica, and then ending it with RE5 remake. And then I'm assuming the next game after that would be RE10. It would be RE10 in 2029. And it would be funny and iconic and ironic as well if Wesker ends up coming back. Because imagine for a second, imagine for a second that the reason that they're going to, you know, imagine we do get an RE1 remake in 2026 and, and then we get RE5 later. Imagine the reason they're doing it like this is because they want to build up Wesker because they're going to bring him back in RE10 maybe. Maybe, I'm just saying, it's something to consider. But uh, other rumors have said that RE9 is going to be the final numbered game, and then anything else coming out will be a spin-off or subtitled game. But uh, I don't believe that. I, I think we're still going to get numbered games, because you got to consider, they're doing the Rex engine, right? Rex engine, REX, like, I've been saying this as well, like, come on, it's, it's just too perfect not to do, right? But yeah, guys, that's the info I have here. I hope you like it. As always, remember to like and subscribe. And yeah, I shall see you when I shall see you. Yeah, I can't wait. I hope I hope uh, this info is legit. I'm assuming we're going to be finding out in the next couple of days because if we are getting a showcase this month, we're going to be finding out very soon whether the stuff of RE9 is legit or not. But yeah, 
Take care, guys, and bye. Take care, and bye.